Welcome to the Floral POS. In this video, we're going to show you how to use our new user permissions. Let's get started. So for a while, we've been uh, promising that we're going to bring you guys permissions. And what that means is it gives you the capability to lock down parts of the program that you don't want access by your cashiers or other employees. So in this release, um, version 3.1.06, we're actually going to release that to you guys. So this video is going to show you how to use that. So let me uh, go ahead and get started and show you how to use it. So um, first thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to go inside the control panel. And then you're going to go into system management, employee manager, and then permissions. So we'll go back again. You're going to go Control Panel, System Management, Employee Manager, Permissions. Now once you're inside Permissions, there's three permissions up top here, they're called Static Permissions. These can't be changed. You have your Admin, which gives you access to all areas of the program. When I click on that, you can actually see what you have access to down below. Same thing with your Manager. So Manager access to most areas. System tools are denied. So you click on manager. You can kind of see what the manager has access to. And then lastly is your cashier access to all order areas. So you click on cashier and here you go. This is what the cashier can access. So we'll come back in here and uh, so we do have the three that you can't change but if you decided that you wanted to add your own because maybe um, you have another type of a uh, employee or group name you want to add but you want to give them more access you can do that we'll come back to that in a second I'm gonna actually show you uh, what it looks like when you have like a, a user set up as a cashier and they log into the system so let me go ahead and show that to you let's go ahead and close out of these areas and I added a user called test user um, so in the past, we, we had certain areas that were locked down, like our reports, um, our, uh, our trash bin manager, they were locked down by an admin password that we had across the board. Um, we actually have removed that password altogether because now you're going to be using the passwords of your employees. So like right now, I'm logged in as Timothy Bell. He's actually an admin, so this is admin menu. So you can basically kind of tool around the whole um, program as an admin, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and log in as a test user here, just for fun. And that's a, that user is actually locked down as a cashier. So let's go ahead and select ca uh, test user, put their password in, and log in as them. And you can see up top here the test user actually has a cashier menu. So it's still their own menu that they can set up on themselves, but the cashier is the permissions they have. So uh, they could still add their own icons as, like before for our, our user menu, but uh, you're going to notice there's icons in here they can't use. So for them, it'd be worth their while to kind of remove these themselves and add their own stuff um, that they have access to. But you're going to notice that's what, that's what you're going to see in the program now. When you go through, you're going to see icons that are grayed out. Let's go ahead and go into control panel here, and you're going to see that uh, they're locked down. So this particular cashier... Um, can't get into any of this stuff here. Can't get into the billing, can't get in credit cards. All this is locked down, they can't get in there. If you click on it, it's not gonna happen. Um, we did add a new uh, icon here called Open Drawer. We've been um, noticing that a lot of people want this feature. So you actually can add the Open Drawer from Control Panel or you can add it into your cashier menu. This is gonna pop the drawer. Again, you can lock people out of that too just by setting that permission. So as you kind of go through each little tab, you're going to see how it's locked down, and this particular user can't get to very many areas. Don't be alarmed about the system tools. This is still locked down with a password for us. That's open to everybody, but uh, no matter what, they can't get in there. Just kind of clicking around so you can look. So let's go out of here, and let's lock back in as, um, as Tim, since he's an admin. And uh, let's go ahead and create our own permissions. So I'll go back into control panel here. Let's go into employee manager and then permissions. So 
So we're going to create a permission group called like um, test. Why not? And the cool thing about it is, like, let's say that you wanted to uh, kind of mimic what the cashier already has. You can click on cashier here. You can say, I want to create this as a test group. And then let's say that you didn't want the cashier to be able to pop open the cash drawer at all. So we can just kind of turn that off. And let's say that you wanted them, this particular user group, you wanted them to have access to reports. So you could turn that on. And once you're done, you just add it. And now this group is, is added to the system. Um, if you made a mistake and maybe you wanted to actually remove an item from the, this particular uh, uh, group, you can click on it again, and then you can actually make a change. Let's say we, you know, we also want to give them access to end of day. We can do that. You just click on save, and it saves it for you. So let's go ahead and add this permission group to that test user. So we're going to go and employ config here, and then um, right here it says permissions. We're going to select our test user, and we're just going to drop this down, and we're going to select test, and then save it. So now if we close out of everything here and kind of drop down, select our test user, log in. You're going to see now they have access to reports, which is really nice, and end of day. They're both available to them now. So let's go back in there again and remove that capability, just so you can kind of see how it functions. Control panel, system management, employee manager, permissions. So so that, that test user is already part of the test group, so I can just come in here and make a change to this group and say, okay, um, we don't want them to have reports or we don't want them to do end of the day. We can go ahead and save it again. And close out of here, and then when that user logs back in again, they're locked out again. They can't get to those areas. So, I mean, that's... Uh, Something that we've been wanting to bring to you guys for a long while. It's now available in 3.106. Um, very, very simple to add and remove permissions. Um, let's go ahead and back in there again. So once you're inside, so just kind of recap, we have permissions now. They uh, they kind of supersede that admin password that we, um, we had on the system. So if you're logged in as an admin, the admin's going to be able to get where an admin can go. If you're logged in as a cashier, you're locked down. You can't go any, anywhere. You can add your own permissions. Um, right now, you basically have the capability. And let's go back into permissions so you can see. Um, you have the capability to lock out even the icons on the main screen here. So you can lock out, like, let's say you didn't want them to go into the uh, customer administrator, or you didn't want them to go into the inventory. You can actually lock those out. Or even if you didn't want them to be able to provide feedback, you can do that as well. So let's go back into here so I can show you. And in permissions here, you see there's a lot of different. Um, little slider buttons here and whatever one if you slide them on they're going to make it so that they have access off means they don't and you can see it kind of mimics what you have going on in the control panel you have your back office system configuration system tools system management and then even inside the employee manager so once one let's say you had a manager you wanted them to go into the employee manager but you didn't want them to have um, access to the uh, employee configure pay types but you wanted them to go here um, you can lock all that out too it's easy enough so and then also we have a tag here called main that, uh, like I was telling you, you can actually lock out areas in the main screen. So feedback, control panel, inventory, order browser, and customer administrator. Um, as at, Once we roll this out and you guys start using it and you guys um, give us feedback of other areas you want to be locked down, maybe printing or maybe not the capability to go somewhere else in the program, just go ahead and send us a feedback and the, you know, back to us and we'll, uh, we'll work on getting that implemented for you. So that's basically uh, permissions inside the 4 POS um, version 3.1.06. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call at 888-865-9768 or email us at support at the 4 oposcom And as always, you can click on our little feedback button up here and send us some feedback. Thanks. We'll see you.